So I had a guy come to the door yesterday uh, offering a free estimate for a roof cleaning, a soft wash. Incidentally, don't ever use a, a, a pressure washer to, to clean your roof, those, those asphalt shingles anyway. Uh, you don't, because what it does, it blows that grit off of the shingles and it will reduce the lifespan of your your roof. That's That grit is an integral part of the roof system. But anyway, uh, I said, yeah, go ahead and walk around and give me a price. It's been about five years. It's not that bad, but uh, they could use it. He comes back. He comes back with a price of thirteen hundred, and I was like, "Wow, what uh, what are you using?" He said, "Oh, it's a sodium hypochlorite solution with a surfactant in it." And I was like, "Oh, okay. Well, let me think about it. I don't need to think long because that's that's a hard uh uh. uh let me show you why. If you're of a mind to do it yourself and your roof is walkable and you're comfortable up there." or even if uh, you're not at least understand what you're paying for with a soft wash but if you were to do it yourself you need a garden sprayer get a two gallon one that's what is that 25 bucks now let's break it down when they say sodium hypochlorite what that is is bleach <laughs> let me just show you uh, contains sodium hypochlorite I don't know how well you can see that, but that's the stuff. This is outdoor bleach. Uh, if you want to spend extra for the for the brand name, you can. You can see the price is about eleven bucks there, or you can get a lesser known brand. You can see it's about six bucks. When they say solution, that means water, and when they say surfactant, that means dish soap. So this is what you'll need. Uh, as far as the, the number of gallons of bleach, it's difficult for me to say for you. I, I don't know how big your roof is and, or how dirty it is. I've got about a, uh, what is it, a 2,500 square foot house, might be 3,000. And I think if my memory serves me, which it doesn't serve me well as I get older, uh, I think when I did it last time, because I, I did do it myself, it was about 10 gallons or thereabouts. But the, what you do is, uh, the mix is one gallon of bleach, essentially one gallon of water, but save room for about eight ounces or a cup of the uh, dishwashing detergent and put that in there. And you put the dishwashing detergent in last because you don't want to, when you put water in, you don't want it to foam up. You want to get it in there, close it up, and then kind of agitate it lightly to get it mixed. Now that you know what's in there, it's easy to do. You can get up on the roof with your sodium hypochlorite solution with surfactant in it and uh, pick a section at a time and just spray it on, on the roof. What you want to do first is get your, if you've got plants down below, uh, you might want to get those wet first. Uh, but the idea, really the key with regard to that is when you don't want to spray, spray so much that it's dripping off the roof. Uh, and when you get to the edge, just be careful and mist it lightly. Um, but you spray it on there and leave it. You don't have to rinse it. You don't have to do anything. Uh, it will, uh, they say it uh, becomes inactive in, I think, at 24 hours. I think it's probably actually less than that. Uh, and then also if you have, you know, if there are remaining streaks that uh, didn't quite get it, just get up there and hit them again. Something to be aware of, just so you know, is that bleach solution in here is going to tear up the the, uh, the rubber seals and stuff to where this sprayer is not going to work um, very long if you have that in there for too long. Uh, but like you know, like you saw, they're cheap, the 25 bucks. Uh, again, spray it on and let it be, let it do its thing. You don't need to rinse it off, and that's all there is to it. And if you're not doing it yourself and you are going to pay somebody at least like i said understand what you're paying for i hope that helps somebody have a great day